What's up, everybody? This is Pop Dust Presents. I'm Jay Phillips here with Quinn92, celebrating his brand new album, The People's Champ, and a worldwide headline tour, also named The People's Tour. Welcome, Quinn. We are so happy to have you here. Thanks for having me. How are you guys doing? Uh, I'm great. How has everything been? I want to congratulate you again. Can you just tell me a little bit more about the name The People's Tour right before we start? Yeah, I mean, the People's Tour, I mean, it's kind of, uh, it, it kind of derives from the People's Champ, the album title, and I was making this album this year, and the goal was to kind of just, like, not make an album with, initially, the goal was to make an album that didn't have much of, like, a concept to it. I just, like, wanted to make music just to make music and, like, be present and not really get in my head too much about how people would perceive it and stuff. And through that, I I realized the album I was trying to make was an album about, about just being, just being, I guess, like not trying to become and rather just like be your authentic self, whether that means you're depressed one day or you have anxiety or you're super happy or you have a ton of bills to pay or whatever, like whatever life's throwing at you, just knowing that your authentic self right now is 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 the most that you can be and it's the best that you can be and it's like you being your own people's champ like you are you don't need more than what you already have i think we're like so told that we have to like become something and reach for something and we really overlook that ourself is like who we've always wanted to be um so not to get super deep already but yeah i think like that was the motivation for the album um which i realized probably months into making it rather than at the beginning which is kind of ironic um, so the people's tour is just, you know, obviously a spinoff of the title and, um, I just, yeah, I'm just trying to preach to people that like, you know, you don't have to become anything you're already not. And, uh, what you already are is, is pretty, pretty special. So yeah, I'm the people's champ. You're the people's champ day. Everyone's their own people's champ. So just embrace We're it. all people's champs at the end of the day. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Um, I did notice that like a lot of the songs on the people's champ, it stayed true to your original sound and everything that like, it reminded me of songs like another day in paradise or Kings of summer, like all of those types of music that we've grown up like loving Quinn for. So how do you uh, um, find a balance between staying true to your sound and making an original track? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for saying that, by the way. Um, I, I think, I think for me, like my, I don't ever approach, I don't ever like when I'm making a song and like you mentioned songs like Kings of Summer and Another Day in Paradise, like I I think those are classic songs that are like embedded in my like DNA for like how I want music to sound. So I don't go into sessions thinking I have to like make stuff like that. It just really comes out naturally. And um, I think it's just how I approach my music. I think I, I approach music wanting it to sound like kind of uplifting uh, uplifting and happy but what i have fun doing is like then writing like sad lyrics behind it where you kind of get the best of both worlds so even if it sounds sort of like celebratory or or like joyful i guess like sometimes the concept could be really sad and <laughs> depressing so you're kind of getting both ends of the spectrum there so yeah, I mean to answer your question, I just think like I don't I don't really think about it. I think that's how those songs come about. Um, and I just try to let uh, let the studio session sort of like do the work for me and and just try to get out of my own way and just like let the ideas come out naturally. Sometimes it does not work, but uh, it sometimes sometimes it does. Yeah, I think it like it really shows on your album how much thought you put into it but also just the upbeat summertime vibe i get from your music always is mm -hmm. really present but you've also collaborated with a bunch of fun exciting people on this new album you've got ajr big sean chelsea cutler you've notoriously collaborated with big names across all genres is it difficult to collaborate with those different genres and keep your overall sound or do you find like a balance in between there it's it can be it can be like a little tricky i would say um i wouldn't say difficult but tricky in the sense of like you still like working with big sean for example i wanted to still make sure i wasn't compromising myself in sounding too like hip-hop influenced for example because he's a rapper or working with ajr i wanted to make sure i still felt like because we actually have similar music i would say but 
I still wanted to make sure I did everything on that song that sounds like me rather than sounding like them. Um, it, yeah, so it is. it sometimes can be tricky, but for the most part, I think like I love collaboration because I want to work with people who can add things to my music that I personally can't do. So like someone like Big Sean has an amazing way of rapping and has a great voice. Like I, I can kind of do that, but I would rather go for like who I think is a professional and, and I have more trust in him or someone like Chelsea who has like a really soft, delicate voice and has the female perspective on like life and can relate to a bunch of girls and where I can't, you know, it's like finding people who can just, facilitate those needs for a song that I want, but I can't do it myself. And so I think that's what collaboration, what makes collaboration so special. Um, but, you know, I just, similar to my last answer though, about like making songs, I try not to get in my head about like, like sounding like I'm someone I'm not when it comes to collabs. I just try and like, just do what comes natural. And I trust that the people around me and like my management will be like, okay, you kind of sound different in this song. Like, let's, mm -hmm. let's pull it back a little um yeah so i just i try not to think about it too much yeah it's definitely important to like have those people you trust around you to keep you in check of course uh -huh. yeah I, I i i don't know what i would be doing if i didn't have like a team yeah. Or, so yeah um yeah I, I feel like i always trust my friends to tell me if like my writing is it sucks completely or like if something i did was not good whatsoever i want them to tell me so i mean seriously um, just to like touch on that again like i think that's something like in any environment is really important but for me like you know being in like the music industry where it's kind of slimy and like and i'm in la too where it's you don't really have like like genuine friends are not necessarily like what la is meant <laughs> like like yeah. known for so to have like yeah to have people in your corner that like you can rely on for that type of advice is is really special so i think that goes for anyone if you have like a support system even if it's just one person you can like get advice from or bounce ideas off of is like hold on to those people yeah because it's it's definitely rare yeah for sure and like you've i know you've done a lot of um collabs going back to chelsea cutler in the past including like flare guns calling all angels and now the new one let me down do you guys have a certain writing process now that you've worked together in the past so much i saw you guys at the hammerstein ballroom you came out for her so <laughs> everything like you guys are really connected oh. Were you at that show? I was at that show, yes. Oh, that's that was so fun. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, what was your, I'm sorry, I cut you off. What was your question? <laughs> um, just what's your writing process like now that you guys have worked together like so many times yeah. in the past? It's cool. I mean, like, I think we've got to a point where, I mean, I really consider her just like family and like we don't have, like going into a studio session, it's really not, there's literally no pressure if, if we wanted to just like, get food and come back and like talk for three hours like that would be totally fine and, and if a song comes out of that somehow like great um i i think yeah i think and and she's not the only one i have a few friends uh, like similar that i can be vulnerable like that with but in the case of chelsea yeah it's just like i don't know sometimes we have a very deliberate idea of what we want to make and and whether that's texting her an idea or we'll be in the same room together um, other days it's just very nonchalant and we try and just, like I said, like let the ideas sort of flow naturally. Um, but there's not like a formula, I guess, I guess like songwriting really doesn't have like an A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like type of equation. It's more, how do you just capture an idea when it comes and like, kind of like harness like lightning in a bottle and then run with it once you get it. Um, and uh, sometimes that comes from like a lyric. Sometimes that comes from a cool melody or a conversation you're having with someone or a sound that you hear outside. Like it could be anything. So that's what makes it really exciting and fresh. Um, but with, with people like Chelsea, it's nice because you don't have to worry about like, how do I look or like, what do I yeah. sound like? An, right? Like, what am I saying? You know, it just takes the takes the pressure completely off, which is which is nice. Yeah, it's good to have like a judgment free zone where you can just create. Totally. Totally. Um, so if you had a, like, if you could collab with anybody in the music industry right now, who would it be? Um, I was just, literally just saying to somebody else, like I have like, I've always had like a wish list of mm -hmm. like, I want to work with, but 
Um, a couple artists that come to mind are, I, I would love to work with Jack Johnson. I'm just a huge fan of his. Uh, I would love to work with Chance the Rapper. I think that'd be amazing. Um, I don't know, Nora Jones is an artist that I love and really respect. Um, Kid Cudi. Uh, I don't know. There's like, I, I, it's one of those questions when I get it, I, I, I say this all the time. I'm like, I could sit here for hours and just like talk about people I look up to and want to work with. But uh, those are a couple of names that always come off the top of my list. Yeah. I mean, already with that like list, it's great playlist if you just. Yeah, I know. Down the line. <laughs> so no, I'm know. in. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll work on that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's next. Um, yeah. yeah. But speaking of Big Sean, I know he is a fellow Detroit native of yours. Was he somebody you had always wanted to work with? Or did you always have like this little inkling in your mind? Like, we're from Detroit, we need to do this, like, just for the sake of doing it? I mean, both, I would say yes to both those uh, answers. Like, I, I mean, grew up listening to him like in high school and college and all my friends. That's like all we really played um, at like college parties and in our dorms and stuff. So yeah, like Big Sean was always someone I wanted to work with, but I always I always felt like our paths would cross again because we're like you said we're both from the same area and uh, and yeah, it just kind of happened. It actually the song came about because my we have a business like I have a business manager who's the same business manager as his, so um, he actually connected us and uh, got us in touch. So I never thought like that is how we would end up meeting, but um, but shout out to Josh, my business manager, for making that happen. And uh, yeah, I mean just an artist I've always respected and always kind of knew that maybe one day we would work together or at least meet. Um, but I'm so happy. I finally got to like check that one off my, my bucket list. Cause uh, just again, an artist I really respect and he, he's a great guy. And, um, and yeah, he's, 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 it was, it was a really cool experience. Yeah. I would say that your song with big Sean, as well as a few others like bartender and FOMO, I feel like yeah. they're all, like those would be my top three on the album so far. So what are your top three songs on the album? Oh, amazing. Thanks for saying that. Um, I, I think some of those are definitely my favorite. I think FOMO's up there. Um, I love All That You Need, the last song I really think um, I resonate with. It's, it's kind of just like, um, it's kind of like the best song on the album to like represent the, represent the album, I guess. And like what the album means. Um, mm -hmm. It's just about, it really just about like understanding your true nature and like, just like who you are and uh, no, like the, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm stuttering, but like the lyric in the, in the song is like, all that you need is what you can't see, but you've always had it. And what I mean by that is just like yourself, like during all experiences in life, like the one thing that like comes and goes with you, or I'm sorry, that doesn't come and go is yourself you're always there experiencing everything and and just i think we overlook that so yeah that's that's a really special song for me and uh a good reminder for me honestly um what else i love uh i like the lows a lot um mm -hmm. i like they're all like my little kids it's like it's hard to give my favorite you know they yeah, all have a, can't pick your favorite kid no right i mean you could i guess but i i uh, you would never I, tell them no you would never <laughs> yeah you never tell them um yeah but but each I mean, every song I've ever made is is special to me in in, in some way, and, and so it's no different for this album. But yeah, the ones that you listed too, I love. I mean, those are <laughs> all of them. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. that album was like a no skip. Like Thank every you. single one was so good. So I'm so excited for everybody else to get to listen to it. Of course. Um, Thank you. So kind of speaking of like collabs in a different way, I saw that you worked for Bose um, with soccer star Christian Pulisic. Um, do you have a favorite brand partnership that you've done? What was it like working with him? Just give me the lowdown. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's awesome. He's, he's, we've done a couple of things now, but like, again, speaking of someone who I've just like looked up to for a while now um, and getting to, it's weird when you like with music, how you can like enter different, like, like the sports world because of it. And I'm like, I'm a, most guys as no, I'm no different, like just a big sports fan and like, I think getting to do stuff like that is really, really cool and unhumbling. And just, it's just surreal to, to think that I can work with like some of the biggest athletes in the world. And, um, and so, yeah, in the case of Christian, like I've, we've, we've done a couple things now and he's just like the nicest guy and he's actually from Pennsylvania. I'm in Pennsylvania right now. He's from here. And like, uh, no, it's just like very down to earth, 
like normal guy and um I, I don't know. I, he just takes his work seriously, but doesn't hold himself to like a high standard. And it, it's nice when you can work with people like that because, you know, people with no egos is generally the people that I like to surround myself with. And it just, you, you kind of cut the bullshit out quickly and you get, just get to make great art and great stuff. So yeah, shout out to Bose for making that happen. I mean, and, and shout out to him. He's, he's an awesome guy and uh, hopefully we can do more stuff in the future. Yeah, definitely. I feel like it must be super refreshing to just surround yourself with people with no ego or just meet them when you meet them through work, especially. Totally, totally. Um, so for one of our last questions, if you could describe your album in three words, what would they be? Oh, wow. Um, that's a really, really, really tough question. Why did you say that? <laughs> I had to hit you right at the very end. You thought you were going to get off easy. I, I couldn't know. let you. Like, what's your favorite food or something? Um, yeah. You could no, do that, that too if you want. Yeah. I love that question, though. I think um, three words. I guess it's two words, but I'll just say it anyway. I mean, they are three words, but the second word is whatever. You'll, you'll see what I mean. Be yourself. Be yourself. Okay. Um, and what I mean by that, I know that can kind of be cliche, but, like, I think – that's literally all you can. I think we like forget that you actually it's impossible to not be yourself, like to not be your own like champion and like be your own like 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 at the end of the day, like you're the person you, you get yourself out of scenarios, you talk yourself up, you you heal yourself. Like obviously there's outside influence and when we surround ourselves with people and, and friends, family and environments that are like beneficial, those are good for us. But like I was saying to you earlier, like the only thing that's constant in our entire life is ourself. And just like coming to terms with that and like falling back into that comfortably and just, yeah. And just like having self-compassion and, and like tr taking care of yourself and treating yourself. And I don't know, just, um, just remind yourself that I, this goes for anyone listening or watching, like that you don't need to become anything that you're already not like you're you're already fully whole and complete and yeah just remind yourself of that so that's a good uh a good way to describe the album yeah i think you said it best like earlier that at the end of the day yourself is the only person who's not coming and going on you so like yeah. treating yourself well and being kind to yourself that's the best thing you, you might, can do might as well yeah you might as well yeah so I believe this is all we have time for, but I am so happy for you and I am so excited for your new album, The People's Champ, comes out today. Yes. Um, and thank you again. Thanks, dude, so much. I appreciate it, Jay. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Jay with Pop Dust Presents. Follow at Pop Dust for more.